Hey, this is Aaron Lopez with the Few H22 crew. So I'm here to talk about a new product that's been in development for almost two years now. It's finally here, it does exist. It's an all-wheel drive H22 billet bell housing. So I'm going to talk to you about the product, about how it works and what it works with. Um, it works with OEM parts, aftermarket parts, and how to make your car all-wheel drive. So along with the bell housing, there are a few other OEM all-wheel drive components needed, such as a K-series transfer case from a 2004 and up 5-speed Honda Element or CRV, transfer case bolts, ring gear bolts, and a transfer gear. The goal with this project was to make a H22 all-wheel drive bill of bell housing that uses all your existing H-series parts, such as the gear set, clutch, starter, motor mounts, everything that you have for your H-Series will bolt directly into this and it's pretty much a plug and play operation without any special adapter plates or flywheels. When designing this H22 billet bell housing, we wanted to use the strongest OEM Honda components available. And that's the reason why we chose the K-Series all-wheel drive transfer case, as you can see here. This transfer case has gone mid eight second passes. I've personally ran 850s on a completely stock transfer case, as you can see here. Um, we then upgraded the uh, transfer gear right here at the end is a PPG transfer gear, and it has gone as quick as 822 with a 129 60 foot paired with our billet bell housing. With this bell housing, using the K-Series transfer case, the drive shaft spins the opposite direction. Therefore, the rear end must be mounted upside down for proper rotation of the wheels. So you have options. You can run all-wheel drive or front-wheel drive with something as simple as a block-off plate like this one. We also have billet aluminum ones available on our website. Hi, this is Philip with the Few H22 crew. I'm here to go over a few options with the differential when going front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. The first differential I'm going to show you is a stock H22 differential. You'll see the bolt holes here are threaded and that's what keeps the ring gear bolted to it. In order to go all-wheel drive, the bolt holes in the differential and the ring gear have to be drilled out to a larger diameter to accept the K-series ring gear bolts. After drilling out the holes on the differential and the ring gear, the K-series bolts will now go through the differential and the ring gear and thread into the K-series transfer gear holding everything together in a sandwich style. Since the bolt is now going through the opposite side of the differential, some machining work is now needed to clear first gear. Now that you understand how the differential, ring gear, and transfer gear all mount, let's go over the three different machining options that we offer. Option one is we machine the face of the differential enough for the bolt heads to clear first gear. Option two, we pocket machine each bolt hole individually for the clearance needed for first gear. Option three is unique because it gives you the capability of going front wheel drive or all wheel drive. For front wheel drive, the threaded bolt holes are left in the diff. For all wheel drive, 10 new bolt holes are drilled and pocketed to allow for the K-series ring gear bolts. With every purchase of the bell housing, you will receive a spacer just like this one. The spacer is for use between the ring gear and the transfer gear to allow for proper spacing and alignment for all-wheel drive. In this video, I know I've been showing uh, factory diffs. We do not recommend factory differentials for all-wheel drive use. Um, we just put these together for mock-up purposes. We highly recommend you using an aftermarket diff for all-wheel drive. Okay, in front of me I have two diffs. I have an M-Factory uh, differential here and I have a WaveTrack differential. I do want to go ahead and so show you the WaveTrack differential. This is the one that we, we run in the car. We've put a lot of passes on it. It's worked great. Tried and true. So what you see here is I have 
uh, a centering ring that we use on it. The centering ring is important. This one's actually already installed. Um, we put it on and we use sleeve retainer to keep it in its spot not moving. The centering ring goes onto the diff. Um, the transfer gear goes on top here. It is held together with the bolts from the diff, but the centering ring keeps the transfer gear hub centric, which is very important. Doesn't let it move, wiggle around or anything. Keeps all your gear mesh aligned properly. Keeps everything nice and strong and nothing moving. So I know there's a lot of information going on in this video. If you have any questions, please email us sales at the few h22 crew.com also want to remind you about services we do offer we build transmissions whether it's a, a factory transmission or a dog box we can do that for you we also build stock and aftermarket case series transfer cases whether you want to do billet or different gears or however you want to build it we can do it we appreciate you watching this video. For more information, please look us up at thefewh22crew.com.